Uh, you were a huge part of the Falcons' success as a player from 1997 to 2001, combining for a 58-7 and record your final two seasons. Can you talk about what it was like playing for Coach Stevens during this time and also enjoying that level of success? Yeah, um, growing up 20 miles from Bentley, uh, Bentley was a dream school of mine. Well, it was a dream school of all of my teammates and anyone who, who played women's basketball or girls' basketball at the time. Um, so being able to play for Coach Stevens at Bentley, literal dream come true. Um, something I thought about every single day, every time I worked out. So the fact that it, it, it all um, went my way and that they recruited me and, and brought me in was just amazing. Um, I felt completely in awe, um, learning from her every day, being able to just walk into her office and have a conversation. Um, so that was a, just a, a treat and such a blessing. And I also felt really happy to be surrounded by teammates um, that were all like-minded like me and all um, there for the same goal, which was new and, and awesome for me. You kept wasted no time getting back involved as you were volunteer assistant for the 2001-2002 season um, before we officially becoming an assistant coach back at Bentley in 2003. And what helped make that decision for you to eventually, you know, join that staff as like a full-time assistant? Well, at first when I graduated, I had no plans of coaching. Um, I was a marketing major and I, and I wanted to do something in athletics, but I wasn't sure. Um, and coach asked me to volunteer because we had graduated two point guards and we were um, turning a two guard into a point guard um, with the departure of the two, um, Briefecto and myself. So it was my pleasure to stay on and help out when I was done um, student teaching during the, the um, sub teaching during the day. Um, and that was fantastic. And that's what gave me that feeling of, okay, this is awesome. You know, I think I want to do this. Um, so I coached full time at Harvard for that year. And when the job opened up, you know, I came back, you know, arms extended, just ready to, to be back with the Bentley, um, the Bentley way, you know, just, um, knowing that there were going to be players there that were just like me and, um, and it's a special niche, I think. And, you know, the reason I'm still there. Um, coach Stevens continuously talks about the uncanny ability of her coaches to recruit well. Recruit well. Uh, this speaks volumes to your work as six of the top 15 scorers in program history came under your recruitment. Um, if you wouldn't mind sharing maybe what your secret is to, to the, the recruiting success that you've had. Well, that's very nice of you to say, but there's no secret. Um, you know, Bentley sells itself. It's, it's an unbelievable um, place to go to school. It, you know, just its location and the facilities and um, everything about the campus is, is just inviting and welcoming. And when you step foot on campus, you know, it's a, it's a special place and everybody has that feel. Um, on top of that, you know, you have an ability to, to win and not win conference championships, but win national championships. And so you're fighting for that every year and that's special. Uh, that separates us from a lot of schools. Um, so I think those, you know, those two things added with, you know, the academics. When you graduate, we're not, you know, we're not producing WNBA players. Right. Uh, you're you're going to be off and running in your career and you're going to be successful. So it's just, it's the triple threat um, school. And it's really easy to get players to understand, you know, this this is a perfect fit for me. And this this is what I want to do. So when you're getting those like-minded players that, you know, they're not all about D1, you know, they want to win and they want to get a great education. Um, you know, it's, it's easy to get those good players in. You were a charter inductee into the A Step Up Assistant Coaches Hall of Fame, becoming the first Division II women's basketball coach to receive the honor. Can you speak about this incredible accomplishment? Yes, that, that was, um, that was def definitely a special, special weekend and, and uh, a, a very um, humbling experience to be um to be inducted alongside of the the women um and and male coaches that that were also inducted that year was it, it was mind-blowing to be honest um it 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 was a, certainly a humbling experience to look over and see chris daly and then you know carol owens and um it just was mickey demoss i could go on and on that was a special treat and and of course um, Coach Stevens, you know, stood by me side by side and, and made the trip with me and, and um, Coach Bacolas came and, and Courtney Finn. So I felt um, extremely honored to be in that class, the first class, 
Um, but again, you know, you look left and you look right and all the people that supported you and helped you get there, you know, were with me for the trip. So that was nice. Awesome. What a great honor that was. So what was going through your mind and what are you looking forward to most um, now being at the helm of the program? Um, well, for starters, it's such a privilege just to be a part of this Bentley family, the, the women's basketball family. Whether you're a player, you know, on the court or you're on the coaching staff. Um, so to be able to be, you know, the, the head coach of this program is, is such an honor. Um, I, I really look forward to continuing the Bentley way and all that she's instilled in me as a player and as a, a coach. Um, and to be the one to be able to be uh, responsible for that um, gives me great pride and I'm extremely excited. Awesome. Well, congratulations again, C. I really appreciate you taking a few minutes to kind of talk about this exciting time that's happening right now at Bentley and uh, taking over for a very, very you know, prestigious program. So thank you very much.